It's like walking the dog. Come back, come back. Oh, there. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. What's happening? Thanks so much for tuning in to episode 40. The incomprehensive inboard M1 electric skateboard review. Now, if you've been watching my previous episodes, you'll know that I just purchased two Evolve carbon fiber GT boards. But as I quickly realized, they are meant for more long distance riding than your average daily commute. Now, the boosted board has been out for a couple years now. Just like everyone else, I was sitting there waiting and saving. It's balancing out need and want. And after about one year of research, I finally discovered the board that was the standout. And that was the inboard M1 electric skateboard. It's the little details that makes this board stand out from all the others. First off, let's look at the design. You can't even tell this is an electric skateboard. God, it. Everything is tucked inside. Look at this design. It's sick. It's like a spaceship. And again, everything is hidden aside these two little electrical wires. And that's it. That's incredible. I mean, you see the care taken into making this a really sleek skateboard. Again, it looks just like a regular skateboard. Now let's go to the game changer. The inboard comes with a swappable battery. They've created a system where you can just release the top and boom. The battery slides right out. So let's go over the amazing features this board has to offer. The Monolith 1 has a deck which is a 3D inverted poplar wood core, which means they inject the board with layers using a process called 3D bonding created by Hydroflex Technologies. The board is wrapped in fiberglass and compression molded with an ABS rail for durability, creating a non-flex deck which optimizes control and allows for a more low rider cruiser type ride experience. Inboard is the first company to introduce what they call a Manta Drive Hub Motor System, which means the motor is in the wheel. Wow. The front wheels are regular skate wheels and the motor wheels disconnect with three Allen screws and a lock ring. This means little to no maintenance. If your drive motor breaks down, it can be disconnected with one screw and one connector and you can get a new one sent to you without sending in the entire board. Most boards use regenerative braking, which allows the energy when you brake to go back into the battery. Inboard uses a flexible dynamic braking resistor, which is attached directly to the bottom of the deck. The inboard comes with one power shift battery, which is rated at 97 watt hours and gives you an additional seven to 10 miles. It uses an 1850 battery cell and the game changer is that the company paid a load of money to make sure these were FAA approved to fly on planes. Inboard's reflex remote design is by far my favorite looking design. It looks like it came right from the movie Prometheus. To change the rider mode, simply press the logo on the remote three times to access each level. Slow is perfect to start out with, max speed of 5 miles an hour. Advanced will take you to a 15 mile per hour top speed. Expert will get you all the way to 24 miles per hour. A great bonus is the fact that inboard ships these boards out in a custom black traveling case. It's durable, has ample room for batteries, chargers, shoes, helmet. Oh, and just a suggestion to inboard, slap some wheels on the end of this bag and a handle on the other one so you can roll it through airports. The board comes with integrated LED headlights and taillights, which you can turn on and off with the press of the remote. 
Now, these are not foreseen what is in the road ahead of you at night. However, the main purpose is to be seen by traffic and pedestrians and that's a huge bonus. Plus it looks badass. Now when you first buy your board, you're going to need to sync the controller to the board. You'll notice a blinking LED light at the top of the remote. Simply tap and hold the touch sync sensor located at the bottom of the board. And like magic, you're bonded. Just like an avatar. She talks about a network of energy. And yet another cool feature is their mag charger, which is essentially the same design as the MacBook chargers. You just put the tip next to the battery and voila! As it's charging, you'll see the green lights flashing on the battery pack. Now, Inboard does have an app that does everything the remote does just in case you kill the battery remote or lose it somehow. It also allows you to update the firmware as new updates are coming, which will allow you to customize the acceleration and increase the max speed. Wow. Wow. Now, this board has the coolest sound when the wheels are running. It has this awesome propulsion type sound to it. Something almost like the light cycles in Tron. This is Bowling Entertainment. Bowling Lights. Run these guys into your jet balls. Copy, Blue Leader. Copy, Blue Leader. This is Gold 1 to Gold 2 and 3. Split up. Take a one out. Again, I have to reiterate it's the little things that Inboard did that made me decide to buy this board instead of the other electric skateboards. Again, just like I said with my Evolve video, the board is that price for a reason and it's worth every penny. Same way with this board, it's coming in at I believe $13.99 and they are selling refurbished ones online for $9.99. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna close out this episode with some cool shots that we've been able to get on the board. And last inboard, great job with your whole team making this awesome board. Man, I've been having a blast on it. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Somebody might have peed down there. Yeah, I'm not sure, but... <laughs>